Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I'm your host, That One Camera Guy. And in this episode, we're gonna find out if the GTX 970 is the best budget card for 4K video editing. Let's get started. When I was getting ready to build my 4K editing machine, I scoured the internet to find out if the 970 versus the 980 Ti had a substantial difference in performance for editing 4K footage from a GH4. I couldn't find a conclusive answer. The reason I went with the GTX 980 Ti was because I saw a video from Dave Doug Dale, who's a fellow YouTuber. He built this monster video editing machine. And in that build, he upgraded his system to a 980 Ti, and he showed that 4K performance on his timeline in Adobe Premiere Pro became buttery smooth hardly any stuttering at all at one-to-one -one playback. And it was because of that video, I decided to go ahead and pick up the GTX 980 Ti. But at the same time, I always wondered, could I have saved three to $350 had I just gone with the GTX 970? So let's go ahead and jump into the information that I discovered when I ran my tests. If you are planning to build a budget 4K editing machine, get the GTX 970 it will be the perfect card for you on a budget. When I did my test versus the 970 and the 980 Ti, the differences were marginal when it came to timeline performance. When it came to rendering performance, there was nearly a 50% improvement with the GTX 980 Ti. In other words, if it took one minute to render a file with the 980 Ti, it would take about two minutes on the 970. So if rendering times isn't a huge factor in your production, then the 970 will still be a great card to get. But if rendering time is very important to you, then the 980 Ti is a card you're gonna to wanna to look at. When it comes to picking out a graphics card, the main thing I cared most about was making sure that my editing experience went very smoothly. Nobody wants to edit on a timeline that's stuttering, that's not moving very quickly. You want everything to move very smoothly. Here's a little secret I found out. I think it was pretty obvious, but if you still have a 1080p monitor and you want to edit 4K footage, there really isn't a reason to play the resolution back at one to one. More than likely, you're going to play it back at one fourth the resolution because you have all these pixels being jammed into a smaller frame. What this means is that your GPU and CPU work a lot less to render out those frames when you're editing in 4K. Even if you used a 4K monitor, you're gonna go ahead and render out your frames at about a one half playback resolution. You don't have to go to one to one. And here's what I found out. When I popped in the GTX 980 Ti into my machine and I, I played back about an eight minute YouTube video I put together, at one to one playback resolution, I experienced about 30 dropped frames with the GTX 980 Ti. With the 970, I experienced almost 300 dropped frames. Now, when it comes to your editing experience, that's gonna start to present a bit of lag in your editing. It may not be that bad, but it could start to become noticeable if you start adding more effects. As soon as I changed the playback resolution to one half, the dropped frames went to zero. And there was no perceivable difference from going to one to one playback resolution versus one half. In other words, for the work that I do, the GTX 970 would be more than suitable to do what I needed it to do. So which card should you get? The 970 is a perfect card if you're doing short form YouTube videos like I do. It's the perfect card. It's gonna give you very great 4K timeline playback performance and your editing experience is gonna be great. And you're not so worried about rendering performance. Consider getting the GTX 980 Ti if you add heavy effects, you do longer form videos, and rendering time is significantly important to you. Remember that editing video requires the entire system to be harmonious, your CPU, your GPU, your motherboard, your memory, and even your hard drives. Having all those work together will make your editing experience great and easy and simple. Well, that's it guys. That's all I've got for you in this video. I don't know everything. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. I'd really appreciate it. And with that said, I'm your host, Alan Camera Guy, and I'll see you 
on the next video. Now, if you did like this video, go ahead and consider liking it. And if you do enjoy the videos I'm producing on my channel, go ahead and subscribe. And if you missed my last video about my 4K video editing machine build, you can go ahead and find the link somewhere here. And even the little eye icon will lead you there as well. And with that said, I'll see you guys later. Bye.